Good old Alibaba pulling a freaking Ken Shiro. Water, water, ooh, food. <laughs> this episode of Maggie No Joke, though, was a fucking awesome one. Never did I think an episode with Alibaba focused on would be amazing, because most of the time I fucking hate the guy. <laughs> so we see Alibaba has found his way to a limb. And he's just on the floor, pretty much just dead. And they, not even cats give a fuck about it. They just piss on his head and just like, no, they go all the fucking merry away. And he arrives there, and pretty much his whole story is that after the whole pirate stuff, he even got, he got Kahoot in his ship, and they took all this food and crap, apart from his sword, luckily, and his Dijin. So, yeah, that was lucky for them. And he meets up, trying to go in there, and he meets up with this girl named Toto, who won't let Alibaba in. He's like, alright, we've got to have the first thing, go ahead to fight him. And then it turns out he's too hungry to fight and just gets bopped. So, that was sort of typical, and I was like, okay, yeah, that's kind of expected. Like, And then you see, like, um... Well, I bet a lot of people didn't uh, expect that. We actually meet up with the thieves from Baobad. And turns out, like, they take Alibaba in and they actually run a casino. Like, they're known as, like, the freaking free, like, casino kings now. And they're doing pretty well from the sudden. They, like, help Alibaba, you know, get get on his way. Like, you know, give him some food, water. And then they pretty much, like, this episode, you meet up with freaking um, Shambhal Ramal and Toto. And Shambhal Ramal is a fucking... <laughs> gambling nut. He freaking lost everything. He's there freaking naked held in Alibaba up saying, oh, do you want to stand loud? And he sees his fucking tickets like, oh man, like, put it away. At least get a little bit of cloth on that. And then he just says, oh, I'm going to bet everything. And he just freaking pulls a tooth out of his fucking mouth like that and just gambles it and lo loses it. And I was like, wow, gambling at fucking fanatic. And then you see that like, he's actually Toto's master. He's part of the Yambala Gladiators. And he's like, okay, well, we'll start this fight again. And, oh, it's just, the animation for this was, like, fucking gorgeous. Like, I love this fight. You just see Adi Baba going. And he was showing a little bit of cockiness like that. He kept smiling, like, keep doing all his moves. And you see that he's also combining now his um, techniques that he learned as a prince and then also as well the, the sort of the streets way that sort of Kashim like learn which you realize and you see Kashim was sort of kind of used in this episode as well like you see that he's just like trying to beat the shit out of Toto and then she starts using her magoi or as they call it Kui uh, Ki or something uh, and she just goes fucking in with that Kui long sword like that trying to fucking kill him you see like the fucking veins of Alibaba like popping out like that because he's got so much pressure trying to pull it off his sword and he's like I could win with my Dijin equip like but I'm not going to fucking do it at all like I want to win with my sword and pretty much how Alibaba makes win and makes him win is like he pretty much just cuts the freaking tits like that so they drop all those like oh my god it would be nice to see, because, you know, Toto, she got some nice, mm -hmm, you know, I'd say, but overall, that fight was amazing. And then the last part of the episode is, like, we see Alibaba's, like, being taken in, showing that all the gladiators are from all over the place, you know, we've got lost thieves, mercenaries, just people who want to train, who even got home to go to. And you see that, apparently, Alibaba's been in a dangerous condition where he's at probably much a quarter of his, like, condition like because of this and you see that he has two magoys in his body like one is his self and the other one is trying to fight him which is the kashim mago which i guess he got when he tried to like help um kashim inside that mental state like it was weird like they didn't really explain like how he got it there but i guess since they didn't even fucking know it's like oh, just work with it you just see that it's like okay you're just gonna have to learn magoy manipulation just to deal with both of these um magoys in your body so I think it's kind of like Sinbad, like where he has two Magoys in him. Although Sinbad's a fucking beast and he can just do it anyway. Alibaba is a crass fuck. Like, so, and then you see at the end of the episode, Alibaba is now about to start his first ma a gladiator match with this giant fucking orangutan. Like, so he's a little bit fucked in that end. And then you see at the end, you see, Le and this is a freaking hard one. And I still cannot pronounce it to this fucking day, even when I did the chapters. Lady Sheharazade. And also, as well, you see a fanalist with her. And there's a little bit of importance to her, as you see at the end of the episode, and you see her in the opening. So, what do you guys think without reading the manga? What do you think she uh, important is? Why she got a fanalist with her? That's all for me. I want to thank them much for watching. As always, remember, strap that banner, sound out, and I'll see you guys next.